Okay. <laughs> Hello, dear friends. Good, good evening. Such a, a beautiful, beautiful evening. Let's give it a try again. And uh, I am trying this gimbal. I just cannot help to try to figure out how it works. And um, it's a beautiful evening, so I want to come out to have a walk. This time, I mostly want to try the sound. Maybe I can put uh, my um, headset here. Microphone. Okay, we will see the other side. Okay, let's see. I am not putting a microphone and um, this one does not have a microphone. And uh, I just uh, walk like this. And this is a PF pen freely or something. I can move around and turn around. This is so beautiful. <laughs> and uh, this is... Uh, I can still panning. I can still do this. Now this one is locked and it goes to one direction only. <laughs> one direction. And this one, I think it's uh, it's very flexible and it can go up and down, left and right. But uh, there is one thing that is for sure that the movement is very slow. Do I make any sense? Now I put my um, microphone. Okay, let's see. You can see I have my microphone here and uh, I think it's a sufficient distance. Oh, something wrong. Let's try again. <laughs> the balancing has... Oh, the balancing is coming back. Let's see. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, let's start to walk. Okay, let's try. I will put into another mode. I think this one, uh, it's not very, very stable. I better fix this one. Let me do the lock mode. Okay, it's locked, so it should be more stable. Oh, I feel this is not working. It outsmart me. Uh -oh. Okay, let's try it again. I think I... <laughs> because this is a new... something new, I got it wrong. And uh, now it's better I can pen it. Oh... It's been many time I have been here. Now I will change into another mood. This mood, I do not know, but this seems more comfortable, I feel. I can change horizon line. Okay, I will not spend too much time on those technology things. Just want to spend an evening enjoy this uh, this beautiful quiet time and um, uh, recently i was listening to some uh, uh, just a youtube video pop up and uh, i got into <laughs> the rabbit hole of storytelling and uh, there was uh, some storytelling writers and things talking about how to write a good story, how to make a story. And there was one, one guy from um, uh, the Pixar studio, I think, 
is a professional storyteller. I'm sorry for the airplane sound. I hope you hear my sound better than the airplane sound. And um, so uh, he was talking about story. The important thing about story is uh, is up and down. There is always some tension, some attraction that uh, you have to sit on there with your 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 uh, half of your bum bum on the seat, and you want to listen to the whole story. And uh, and there is always attraction, attention, or something that makes you excited and something that makes you disappointed. Your your mental spirit, your your anxiety, your excitement is like in a roller coaster. Sometimes up, sometimes down, and uh, and the create that alternating movement of uh, of feeling, emotion, spirit, and I just found this is a, this is not only about. Uh, not only about uh, storytelling, it is our life, right? We need to live our life meaningful, fun, interesting. And uh, if it is always plain, it will be not fun. So you must have seen, or maybe you have seen my video uh, yesterday. It was... Uh, um, Back to school night, uh, OOTT outfit of the day for back to school night. Yesterday was one of my bigger days, and uh, I have longer hour than other days, and uh, a relatively challenging class. Not challenging in the sense the students' behavior or things. It's just a uh, um, they are very lovely, very creative. It's kind of a, a every class is like this. It's kind of hard to find the balancing point to take care of everyone. Anyway, it's uh, one of the fun classes. And uh, I was tired. I came back home. I still have one, two, three, four hours time. So I clean up the classroom, prepared for the next day, get material ready. And, uh, and uh, I had time to go to swim. If I go to swim, I can still do that. But uh, if I go to swim, time will be tight. Then I will be stressed out and all that. So I end up, ended up not going to swim and I clean up my face and uh, just uh, add some new um, makeup and did uh, an outfit of the day. I like this kind of out of out. Um, back to school night and things. I do have an interest in public speaking, in talking with people. And I always take it like uh, an opportunity to practice and improve myself. Let me clean up the lens a little bit. So I take it as a uh, an opportunity to improve myself and uh, also uh, I have I have done so many YouTube videos some of my blah 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 got uh, 
600,000 views or almost 1 million views. So there must be something <laughs> that I talk is boring enough to attract people or interesting. <laughs> anyway, if uh, I got this many views through my talk or through my last talk, then there must be a reason, there must be a character of my way of talking. So I am just uh, want to practice a little bit more of my talk. And, uh, and uh, this kind of opportunity, parent-teacher conference, and uh, graduation speech, and um, back to school night, curriculum explanation, all these chances are my chance to talk. I enjoy it. And also, because I'm teaching art, so there is not so much uh, stress in my class, right? If I teach math, I used to teach math, and parents are <laughs> more attentive to listen to a math class, mathematics class, uh, back to school night introduction, right? It totally makes sense. And um, so <laughs> I am relaxed. It, uh, I talk about my philosophy and things. And the people are happy. I am happy. We end up happy. It's just good. So I was excited and dress up. I dressed up. I prepare myself, make, uh, made it a little bit uh, more than every day. And I feel that is uh, an event, it's uh, um, a ceremony. And I got really excited. And after finishing it, that big relief that I have done something, I, I did it, I made it, that feeling is it's just so uplifting. So very uplifting. I was very, very happy. I came back home and um, I'm just uh, so happy. Then I had my dinner and my family came back and uh, I start to feel that I feel stressed out, that I feel down, and I feel lower and lower. And then my family said, oh, why are you worried? And I can help you something. The more he wanted to help me, the more I am stressed out. I start to think why I am so... Uh, annoying, so um, not right. I feel something not right, and I know something not right, and it is that I am not right at that moment. And uh, I was stressed out. Tomorrow there will be a new class. I don't know how to prepare, and uh, I have not yet uh, prepared. It's just very stressed out. The more I think about it, the more I am stressed. I work. The more I thought about it, the more I was stressed out. And uh, until until very late, I slept very, very, very late, extremely late, and. Um, then I went to computer, search for projects and uh, doing things. I start to realize if I give it a name, if I give my action today 
a name, there will be a name. The name is post-show depression, I think. Oh, oh, there is trouble to, to zoom it. What is going on? I think they are using the wrong lens. Something is wrong. Oh, why it is so wrong? It cannot zoom. Let me try it again. Okay, I think we are going to the wrong right lens now, I think. You know, Apple has three lens and uh, because I'm using a gimbal, so some of the lens was covered. Do you understand what I'm talking about? <laughs> if you are not using a gimbal right now, you will not, uh, it will be hard to understand. Okay, let me continue. So I was thinking maybe that is uh, um, a post show depression. And uh, I was so stressed out, so not feeling right, so grumpy. And I just very dislike myself at that moment. And uh, I start to think maybe that's my problem. Let me sit down and uh, slow down and uh, go through everything I need to do. What do I need to do? I need to prepare tomorrow's class. The class material I have already prepared, so that is not a, a big problem. I'm sorry for the airplane sound. So that is not a... Oh. Did you hear the cricket sounds? Mm. So that is not a big problem. The problem is that uh, I need to prepare what to do, what to show. So I went to through my class plan. I have done so many. I have done 15,000 videos. And uh, if I say, 10% is art video. I already have 1,500 videos, right? So I have a lot. And I went back and searched one. And then I choose pictures, get uh, pictures from online, and show the picture for inspiration, and my video of lotus painting. And finally, I thought, Okay, that will be good. I prepared enough. Then I went to sleep. I fell asleep and uh, I start to feel that that depression, that anxiety, and that problem. Hello airplane, hello airplane. Yeah, there are so many airplanes. So I start to feel that problem subsided. Subsided. So this morning I went to class, and this is the second time I see this class. So I was a little bit nervous. And I tell myself, nervous does not help. Calm down. Speak one word at a time. Speak slowly. Give clear instruction. And then I start to do just like what I have just said. I say one word at a time. Slow down. And uh, I took my time to put on smart board to demonstrate 
the painting, my painting, and you know what? Smartboard didn't work. So I, I got two students, got uh, the technology people came to fix the smartboard. And the smartboard <laughs> is not so easy to fix at that moment. There is some system change. So the technology people have to take a ladder and climb up the ladder on top of the table to fix it. Anyway, it's quite a, a, <laughs> a ceremony, a show. But at the end of the day, even with this huge inconvenience, imagine you have one guy in front of 20 young children, five years old, stand up and uh, on top of a ladder to do this. So I say, okay, I'm telling you a story. Do not look at uh, Mr. Dun Dun Dun. And we, I start to tell the story and then it is fixed. And then I start to make uh, the class. And uh, as always, this is something happened in my class, always. They surprise me. They impress me. They always surprise me. They always impress me. It was a, a very good class. I am so very happy. So this is exactly like what we have uh, talked about at the beginning of the story of this uh, chat. Story need to have up and down. Our life have up and down. And uh, our day is composed of this up and down. And I talk with my students and uh, some of the elementary school students, third grade, fourth grade, they can very well understand this concept. There are good days, there are bad days. If only good day, you do not feel it is good. If only bad day, it is uh, it is not so, right? It is not always bad day. It is this up and down, up and down. You have some good day and then you get a <laughs> bad day and those bad day is a backdrop of our good days and it makes our good day even better, right? Those hard working and achievement, I think my my anxiety, my problem, my struggle was actually was actually the payment I have paid for my final happiness. And this is not a final happiness. Tomorrow I will struggle again and then I will be happy again. And then I will be struggle again, again. And then I will be happy again, again. So it's up and down. It makes our life interesting. Don't you think so? I like it. And uh, I am happy. I figured out how this uh, machine works. I am so very happy. Now you need to see my face. Can you even see me? <gasps> it's too dark. It just cannot get that much light here. Oh, let me try again. I love you. I really do. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Goo, goo, bye, bye.